It's a big day today. Today the Abbott government turns two. And hasn't it been a terrific two years? The deficit's up, debt's up, unemployment's up, taxes are up, the number of flags at press conferences is up, they've cut $50 billion from our hospitals, $30 billion from our schools. Last year they tried to cut the pension. They also tried to introduce a tax to go to the doctor. This year they're still trying to jack up the cost of university degrees. They've declared war on wind farms and the ABC. And they've even doubled the cost of their second-rate version of the NBN. But, Deputy Speaker, this isn't the best of it. The Attorney-General, George Brandis, told us that people have a right to be bigots. The Treasurer told us that poor people don't drive cars. The Minister for Agriculture, Barnaby Joyce, threatened to kill Johnny Depp's dogs, poor old Pistol and Boo. Prince Philip got a knighthood, the Speaker got a helicopter, and the Prime Minister ate an onion. Or two, apparently. What a cracking government we've got here. You know that taste you get when you bite into an onion? Well, that's the taste that's been in the back of the mouths of the people of Australia for the last two years, having to put up with this hopeless, hapless, divided, backward-looking government. 